We love the idea of having long Rapunzel-like locks, but growing out your hair can be a royal pain. Hair extensions may look like a quick fix, but don't be fooled. We'll show you the dark side of this popular trend. But first, make sure you're subscribed for more from the taco. Let's get started. If you want to have the best looking extensions possible, you'll likely splurge for some made of actual human hair. We won't get into how creepy it is to glue other people's hair to your own head, but have you ever stopped to wonder where the hair extensions come from? Yes, it comes from other people, but the truth is much darker than you might think. Wealthy people pay hundreds and possibly thousands of dollars for hair extensions, but the people who actually grow the hair are paid a pittance. In order to get people to hand over their hair for tiny amounts of money, distributors target impoverished people overseas. It can take these women years to grow out their hair, and they receive almost no monetary compensation for it. Not only do they target struggling people, but young ones as well. As we grow older and our hair gets exposed to heating tools, hair dyes, and the elements, it gets more and more difficult to maintain. So finding hair that has never met the touch of a hair straightener is a huge find for people making hair extensions. This hair can be sold for even larger profits and thus is incredibly sought after. It's even called black gold because of its incredible value. People work as agents to track down young poor girls in rural villages and negotiate a price for their hair. Because their families are often desperate for money, they're eager to sell anything they can to supplement their meager income. This may not be technically illegal, but many would believe that it's immoral and exploitative. Sure, in these cases, the parents generally give permission, but it's not their hair to give away. There have been many reports of young girls screaming, crying, and trying desperately to run as adults slice off their locks. Even if violence isn't involved, it's easy to see how this could be a traumatic experience, especially for a young child. After all, imagine how you would feel if someone agreed that you had to give up your hair. This trade is incredibly lucrative to the people making hair extensions. In the past five years, the sale of human hair has increased by 70%. Some of the most prized and valuable virgin hair is found in Peru because women there barely dye their hair, and the average income there is so low. One extension wholesaler based out of the United States claims that she pays about $45 for a head of hair. Because the people she buys from are so impoverished, they can buy a few weeks of food with the money. And then the hair is processed and sold to wealthy customers at an enormously inflated price. And there are even darker and more disturbing out there about people being robbed of their hair by unscrupulous companies. Disturbingly, there are no regulations about how companies acquire this hair, so stories of abuse and mistreatment are rampant. Most customers don't even buy to ask where salons get the hair they use in their extensions. Hair extensions is a huge and booming business. Back in 1992, it was a $51.6 million industry in the United States, but in 2016, it was worth almost $700 million. People have been using hair pieces and hair extensions since Edwardian times, but for a while they fell out of fashion. But thanks to celebrity culture, the trend is back and bigger and more lucrative than ever before. And when it comes to hair, synthetic may be cheaper and more ethical, but it isn't as functional. It's much more difficult to manage and can be styled using the same methods that natural hair can. Salon owners claim that their customers care more about the price than the source when it comes to their hair extensions. Ethically sourced hair extensions would be more expensive, and therefore many people would not choose to splurge on them. Ignorance is bliss in this scenario, unless you're one of the poor women losing their hair. China is a huge exporter of hair, but in recent years, it's been harder to find. Five years ago, economic times were much harder, meaning that people were desperate for money and willing to sell their hair. Now, fewer people are in such dire straits and aren't willing to practically give away their hair. Agents are now forced to go further into the countryside to try to find impoverished people living in rural areas with usable hair. When you purchase hair extensions, not only are you supporting the way in which they're gathered, but the way in which they're processed. Many of these factory workers are forced to sort through thousands of ponytails and make as little as $2 an hour. And in order for distributors to get as much money as possible, they're not above mislabeling where the hair comes from. Many hair acquired in China is sold as Peruvian or Brazilian so that the price can be increased. And sometimes they don't even use exclusively human hair. It's not unusual to see blends of synthetic and actual human hair, but some unscrupulous people will actually mix in animal hair along with human hair. Yak hair 
hair is a popular one that is frequently combined with human hair, although you won't learn this just by reading the package. This is also bad news for salons, who are usually the ones blamed if clients are unsatisfied with the quality of their hair extensions. When you really think about it, the hair industry is rather disturbing and perpetuates a lot of troubling social issues. Poor people are being taken advantage of and aren't paid enough to get them out of their unfortunate economic situations. The wealthy people running these operations are able to increase their wealth, and other people are able to make their hair look longer with extensions. It seems like everyone wins except for those people giving up their hair. But by knowing that the issue exists, hopefully change can be brought about. Individuals may choose to go with synthetic hair extensions or simply decide to rock their own natural hair. The industry could decide to enact regulations in order to prevent unsavory situations from occurring. And customers can choose to pay more for hair guaranteed to come from an ethical source. We understand the urge to get full, long hair without any of the work, but that's simply not possible. Although you paid for your extensions with money, someone else ultimately paid the price. Would you ever consider getting hair extensions after learning all of this? Let us know what you think in the comments section and then hit the subscribe button for more from the taco. Bye for now!